The NFL is on EA Sports as we bring you a look inside Highmark Stadium here at Orchard Park, New York. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Buffalo Bills. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Into the air right away is Allen. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Isabella. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10 to the air, Allen. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Allen. It's complete to Cook. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. And that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Play action. Now it's Allen. Oh, pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease, feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that, I'm continuing to let him throw the football. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here now, second and four. Here's Allen to throw it. And complete right side to Cook. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Now Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Khalil Shakir from 10 yards out. And the Bills will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc.
After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Third and three. Now Jackson. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 45. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Henry out of the pistol, and he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, they went back to it, but the results were similar, so I highly doubt that he'll get another opportunity here on third and long. Need something for deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Jackson now. And that is incomplete. I love those corners that could not only cover, but they might get a little physical as well. How about the coverage on that play, knocking that pass away? Here's Jordan Stout now. This is taken at the 15. And nine yards there on the return following a punt of 47. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Allen off the play fake. That ball complete to Isabella. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive, and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Second and seven. Allen now looks to throw. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. They certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. 
And meanwhile, Allen so complete to Shakur. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. On play action, Allen. Incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it, you're exactly right. Throwing his Allen on third. Dancing to his left. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Credit that sack to Travis Jones. Well, we've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on this drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing opened at all, and they swarmed him. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Allen. That'll be complete to Cook. He's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. The dangerous hill now to return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Baltimore's set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They'll look to get something started. They need to, down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. And firing quickly out wide for Bateman. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. <laughs> 10 0 the score after one on EA Sports. 
Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. From the 29, here's second down and seven. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, here's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. Meanwhile, Jackson's slow complete there to Bateman. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, this hasn't really been a first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. A nice run there on first down as Henry uses his size to plow forward. Call it a pickup of seven. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now second and three. Jackson, options out left. The quick feet by Jackson. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. It's a gain of 34. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment, running plays like this. And they, and they will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens have got it back to within a score. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And the Bills getting set to go. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas. Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Allen going to throw. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it but couldn't pull it in. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Well, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm. But this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. 
So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So he stopped for no gain, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Inside handoff, Henry. Fighting through it. He's got space. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. Now, first down run with Henry that time as he maneuvers forward for about four yards. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. To throw is Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. It'll be a gain of five. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped. Here's Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he is going to have a Ravens first down as he gets a little more than he needed. Four yards to pick up there on fourth and two. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Jackson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Now it's Jackson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will knot us up at 10. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. 
They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50 plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Level now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. And now out come the Bills. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. The Bills on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Allen, nifty footwork. Big yardage there on the scramble. And it gets him the first down. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. And now he's halfway to the century mark. And we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Down to the 10, and he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought that had to be? Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. <laughs> Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, oh, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Now Allen to try again after the pick six. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. They run the counter with Cook. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. 
the running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. To the air, Allen. That's Samuel, caught left side. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Here's Allen on first and ten. That one tipped and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively at second down. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Allen again here on second and ten. And this is Cook with a grab. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. First down now, but that clock rolling. Throwing now is Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. From the 47, it's second and five. Here's Allen. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Throwing his Allen on third. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Justin Matabike with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! One touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. 
They'll throw on first down with Jackson. They set up the screen for Henry. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Play action. It's Jackson. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Gregory Russo just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. They tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Ed Oliver, he's the one to get him this time, and back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Take it in at the 22. Almost out kicked his coverage there. 48-yard punt, but 10 on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. It'll go as a gain of four at its second down. Allen now looks to throw. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Defensively well done to jar that free. I'll tell you what, though, offensively, he's got to be lucky after the catch and the fumble that that didn't go too far away from him. And the way the football is shaped, it's not built to bounce true, is it? It can be squirt in any direction and move in any way. He was so lucky. Thank his lucky stars, he was able to get that one back. Across midfield, he goes into Raven territory. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now Allen. Has his man, it's Shakir. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pick up here for the first down. Allen now on first down. That's caught. It's Coleman. So the completion good for seven there, and that's going to bring up second down. Allen. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. They'll run with Cook. 
And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. It's largely been the air attack that's gotten them down here, but now's where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Again, it's Cook. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their... And Cook will get in for a Bills touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bills are an extra point away from drawing level. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. To throw is Jackson. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, he's a diminutive receiver, Charles. Not a ton of size, but still able to bring that in against double coverage. I think that's a great job by him of understanding angles because you mentioned his size. He's not going to go over the top of someone or body someone out of the way. He's got to make sure he creates enough space for himself by getting people into the wrong spot on defense, moving them with his body, and then showing his numbers to the quarterback to be open. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now a handoff to Henry. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's third and six. Here's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete, and he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he's got this down to the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. 
Back to the ground now. It's Henry. And he brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Off the option, here's Henry. That is brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and ten. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? They keep it with Henry on first down. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Again, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Now, we all know that an offense coordinator and a quarterback, <laughs> they're aligned at the hip. But when you've got a runner who can get you that kind of yardage, that guy's invaluable. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Henry is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. When we say the game's on the line, I don't think we're overstating it here. These next few plays could very well decide this one. Advantage defense there on first and goal as they're able to get in and force the loss on that play. On second down, Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Ravens answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Tucker now to add the point after. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Bills going to take over again on offense. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. This is Coleman with a grab. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Throwing on first down is Allen. Quick slant to Shakir. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. On play action, Allen. Shakir holds it in. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 37. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Allen's throw is complete and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. This one complete to Coleman. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Second down and four. Cook up the gut. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. The offense on third down tonight, they've had good success. Five for eight to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Malik Harrison on the tackle. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up third and one Run it in for six. Run it in. to the air Allen and that is caught touchdown Buffalo Khalil Shakir his second touchdown of the night and the Bills are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth and now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. Bass on for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter.
Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Ah, oh, that would have been a nice one to hit on in a tie game. You start to think that one big play, maybe the next big play, could turn out to be the game winner. They took the big shot, but it winds up incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Jackson now. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Gregory Russo, his second sack of the night. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Firing quickly is Allen, that's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll be second in a couple. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Here's Allen. That ball complete to Isabella. Now second and four. Now Allen again. He's able to get it to Coleman. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. To throw is Allen. Again, it's Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. 
partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. What can they come up with here? It's third and seven. Allen, they run with Cook. He's been busy tonight. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by Bass is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. The return man is Hill. Returning it, Hill. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down 27-24, a minute eight to go. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. Here's Jackson. That is caught Bateman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Huge first down. Got to hurry. Yeah, now they have to get up there, get set, and then spike it. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Jackson to throw. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the mean. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had, because those haven't been great. But they get a few more quality ones like that. That could finish things off for them. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. They'll come up first and 10 here. A toss left, Henry. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. And two big plays, one after the other. Now, all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them. Here's first down. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left. And a field goal would send us to overtime. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left.
So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. This to potentially send us to overtime. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds, and now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. Four quarters, not enough for all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. Hill shedding the tackle. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles. <laughs> My palms sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime. And as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself. But let's face it, our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both the field goal kickers active here early. Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing is Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Now it's Jackson. And that is nearly intercepted. Oh, that would have changed things here in overtime, but instead, it's just second down. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So third down coming up. And Charles, I guess the question for me, where does four down territory begin possibly? I guess for me it begins if you have fourth and five or less because you've got to understand your team and know what your play calls are. What do you have that you think you're confident that you can pick up that type of yardage? It might be fourth and three for some teams, but I think anything under fourth and five, they'll think about going for it. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 33. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. Shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? Because I'm feeling it, all right? I've got the, I've got the sweaty palms here <laughs> with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. 
And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Gregory Russo in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And a play like that with how far he had to go to make that sack shows how athletic defensive ends have become in the NFL. And not just athletic, this is coached in a big way. Run to the football at all times. How about him never giving up on it and pursuing all the way across the field? They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. So only a field goal on that opening drive of overtime. Will that hold up? We'll find out as it kicks away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? Overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back, keep everything in front. So a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away, down three. You don't have to get it all in one big play, although obviously that would be nice, but there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first downs, get yourself in position where you know you're gonna at least get three and keep this game going. You get six, so much the better. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Keeping the aggression going on defense in overtime here, a first down blitz. You know you can get burned on it big time if they pick it up, but in this situation, they brought the blitz, put some pressure on the QB, and he wasn't able to complete a pass downfield. Allen will try again on second down. They'll roll him out right. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Bottom line is that he is just something else as a runner because there are not many QBs in this league who can rip off a game that big, and he did it with the defense, giving him a little extra attention after he hit him on a run earlier this series. Here's Allen on first and 10, and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down play action now it's Allen and oh my gracious 
If he could have just clutched that and fallen to the ground, it's an overtime victory. But instead, we keep going. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball. In and now we've got a review here. All challenges in overtime, of course, initiated by the replay official here in the stadium. to throw it's Allen and he can't get rid of it he's taken down Justin Matabike able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening well there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining they took a sack on first and goal but that close to the goal line that still definitely hurts on play action Allen for the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Back-to-back -back great plays defensively. You get the sack on first and goal. A great job in coverage there. All of a sudden, they're looking at third and goal from further back than when they started. And the really good play callers look ahead and down in distance sequence. Now he's got to backtrack a little bit and go maybe off his play sheet to try and dial something up here. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Charles, a very simple mission any time that you play on your home turf, and that is to defend your home turf, and today that mission was accomplished. Look, every offseason, every preseason, the head coach goes in front of the team and says, the mission for the season, defend our home field every time, split on the road, and we'll be in the playoffs. That's why defending the home field is vital. So that's a wrap. 